second Let's vlog um, of Tight Fit with my man, my main man, Diogo Pereira. Let's get it, let's get it. I'm ready, I'm pumped. <laughs> let's go. This thing blows, you know? Is it? No. Thank you for the coffee, man. Like, That's all right. Note to anyone else that comes on this show. You have to bring Diogo gifts. brought me a coffee. You have to bring gifts. We're setting the standard. <laughs> I haven't seen you in years. A long time, It's man. been, like, it's a legit been years. Long, long time. I mean, I, I think I saw you, what, one, two years ago, just sporadically well, I bumped near, into you in, in Holborn. Yeah, in Holborn, <laughs> in McDonald's. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just, like, you've grown so much in terms of gains and stuff. But I think it's been more in the last six months. Yeah, You've sort of, like, yeah. exploded. Like, I've obviously seen a few pictures and stuff coming up, and I'm like, wow. Thanks, bro. I mean, a lot of it was trial and error. You and I bumped into each other a year or two ago you were a pro actual like working job right you were yeah, yeah and i'm still you're still working I'm still working yeah yeah so i'm okay. pt and freelance at the moment any guy or girl even starting the gym you go to the gym you don't really know what you're doing at yeah. first unless you have like a trainer to sort of guide you so the first i'd say two three years were very much yeah just like chest and arms chest and arms you do like one set on every machine in the gym yeah. you know you know when you're like 16 17 yeah going through the gym you just you just go there to say that you're going there but gradually started like learning a bit more educating myself and i also met someone at uni which was a big help okay. so he was a pt at the time started training with him got to a stage like a few years ago where obviously i was starting to put on a bit of size get a bit better in terms of fitness and a lot of people started reaching out can you train me can you help me with this help me with that and eventually i just thought you know what i'm giving out a lot of uh open like information helping people out why don't i just put like a qualification behind it and yeah. actually get some credibility behind it and then I just decided to go get the PT qualification and from there yeah just moving freelance really and what like what would you say is different with like your training and like the the conventional kind of PT because like there's there's so many PTs out there yeah like there's so many P and it's like you know anyone can get anyone can become anyone can get a PT qualification yeah yeah I'll be honest with you a lot of the clients that I'm speaking to, the same things are coming up. So I'm hearing the, the same recurring things. It's very much, I used to have a PT. I got results very, very quickly. And then I stopped PT and kind of thing, stopped having sessions and I fell off very quickly. And what, what I tend to see is that a lot of PTs are one more in it for the money than they are in it for actually helping mm -hmm. and educating people. And they're in it to get quick results so that they can post it as like testimonials. They want ridiculous numbers. They want to be able to say, you know, I don't know, Janet, 40 years old, came in 100 kilos, lost 10 kilos in, I don't know, four weeks, something like that. Yeah. And so they can post it because it looks good. People who want to lose weight will look at that and say, wow, that's amazing. That's quick results. That's so easy. I don't want them to see 10 kg drop in like two weeks, three weeks kind of thing. I don't want that. I want it to be a sustainable Gradual, way of life, yeah. something that's flexible they still get to eat the foods that they enjoy, obviously within moderation. Mm -hmm. They still get to go out, be social, but incorporating fitness into their life. Most people aren't gonna always be able to afford a PT for a very long 100%, time. 100%, yeah, exactly. Know, amount of time. So you're gonna give them the knowledge and the, edu and the education away, yeah. and the training to take away. Exactly that. So they can exactly use that. on, yeah. Exactly that, it, ha it has to be a lifestyle change. I'm sure you've seen, like I still eat foods Many people message me like, "How Man, can you eat that and stay like relatively that's what fit?" I want, kind of thing. I wanted and, to ask you about that. I see. I mean, I see you because you travel a lot, and we'll get into yeah. the traveling as well. But yeah. you, you eat like cookies and cakes, and I was like, "What?" If you eat well, there's room to. It's kind you know, of it's flexible diet, and, and yeah, cheat yeah. here and there. The, the mistake is, is that people will. This is a huge mistake. Like and. It's, it's all a numbers game. So if you're tracking, you can incorporate something you enjoy into the into like your lifestyle. So a lot of people will diet like Monday to Friday, put themselves in a calorie deficit, you know, burning more calories than you consume so that you burn fat. They put themselves in a calorie deficit, they're eating well, you know, and good results Monday to Friday. Saturday comes, they'll, I don't know, go for like pan chicken and waffles for breakfast. Mm -hmm. Then they'll, you know, go for pizza for lunch then have a takeaway in, on the evening on Saturday and then go out for drinks. In that one day, they've just ate more calories than the- They've you know, offset all of the exactly. deficit they've that they've had the, the last deficit. five days. And then they wonder why two, three months down the line, they're not seeing any results. That was where, that's what I had to change, I'd say in the last six months. So before I was doing exactly what you just said. Yeah. The five day deficit and then the weekend of just Destroying it. Oh, I, you know, the majority of the week I've been dieting, so it's fine. Exactly. It's like you justify it. And then you it's justify just, it. But then I would have horrendous food, mm. thinking that 
my body's asking me to, to, to treat it to this, but it wasn't yeah, doing yeah. it any favors. Yeah, as long as you're tracking and you're incorporating it in, there's flexibility to enjoy the foods. And like you said, when you cook yourself, you can make food taste good yeah. and it still be good for you. Now what's going on? Do you want to see what I love about this car? You can just turn like this. Oh my, no fr one point turns. <laughs> Just one point turns. There's no three point, man. If I did we my driving it. We test, we love this, it. Oh. Yeah, so traveling. Traveling, okay. Because that affects. Because oh. I struggle when I travel. 100%. I man. struggle so much to kind of stay. Oh. And it's not even like during the traveling, it's mm. actually when you come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coming back. Getting back on it. It's just like, oh, like you travel so much. <laughs> <laughs> You're always traveling. Not more than you. I think when we were talking about when oh, yeah, we yeah, should yeah. do this, it was like, a few times. yeah, I was like, oh, um, how about this way? How about That's this funny. week? How about this week? You're like, no, I'm away. I'm away. How do you fit? Like, how do you deal with that? How do you deal with training around? Do you know what it is? Traveling? It's uh, when it comes to training and traveling, you can sort of keep yourself on track if you do something. One, you know, take a bit more of a conscious decision. Yeah, you're going to go out to eat. You're probably going to have a few drinks. That's normal. Don't make every meal out like something soup that you know is not going to be good for you when it comes to like drinks that kind of thing you know if you're going to have alcohol that's fine but there's ways to offset your cal calories a bit in terms of go for a gin and tonic over a cocktail yeah that no kind beer of thing. That kind no of beer yeah. and in terms of activity try and get something in so when i'm traveling now i always try and see are there any local gyms yeah. that i can get like a day pass to to get one or two sessions in whilst i'm out there to keep me on track to keep me going over the weekend yeah, because you, you traveled, um, you went to the States. Yes. Um, and yeah, yeah. you went to a gym there, didn't you? Yeah, I went to two two gyms there, actually. Yeah. Massive difference with the UK gyms? or? Uh, do you know what? Everything's in pounds there. So you're lifting up dumbbells that say 50 and oh, they're, yeah. like, <laughs> they're like half the weight. So oh, it, look, it looks stronger. Cool. It looks cool. You're like, you know, uh, bicep curling like 50 pounds. But on, on camera, it looks like 50 kg. So everybody's super impressed. A lot of the gyms are 24 hours. So I, oh, really? I went to one proper gym and then two hotel gyms. Um, the hotel gyms are all 24 hours because I think okay. but I was waking up at about 4 or 5 in the morning oh, wow. because of the body clock kind of thing so you just go down get a session in and then start your morning at like 6, 7 like spin classes before but I've been spinning once or twice with oh, different spin, people spin is so cool spin it's, is one thing that I really enjoy I'm also like you know I like experimenting seeing what my body can do so I've been to some classes that I've never done before just to see you know just to push myself in different areas because there's obviously friends of mine that have very different styles of training some are very cardio based and you know I'll join in with them like and just just to do different things yeah I don't know why this car always gets so misty all the time all the time uh, it's just it's so uncomfortable, bro. It's so uncomfortable. He's trying to drive. He can't see anything right now, horrendous. but he's going to prove to me that he's a good driver. Blindfolded driving. Like, I'm trying to listen as well, and it's tough. But what are we working out today? So, I, I personally, I can't hit legs because I hit legs yesterday. Oh, no. So, I won't, be able, to, I won't, be, no, so I won't be able to. I won't be able to. But my, I've got a scheduled in pool session, but I'm happy to tweak it and do like something else if you pool, want. Pool sounds good to me, man. Yeah. I also got to fit in two days of cardio, one way or another. Which do I do you, already, but like it's just what it's, type of cardio do you do? You like lists? I mi I mix it up, but I do do I do do <laughs> I, I do a spin class once a week okay. at least. Those those boot camp classes as well, like Barry's. Um, Have you been Frame box? Fitness? No. I've done one at Frame Fitness. That's not bad. They're tough though. Yeah, yeah, one hundred. Because different to your normal type of training. Mm. If you do standard bodybuilding training, like you're not used to being at such a high intensity for yeah. a sustained period of time. <laughs> I went to a kettlebell class. The lady that was teaching the class like, proper knows what she's doing and she um she said you know if you're a, if you feel like you're a beginner get like a four to six kg kettlebell if you're intermediate go six to ten if you're advanced go ten to fourteen i was thinking fourteen that still seems quite yeah I know. I like, that's nothing i was like yeah i'll grab a fourteen that's exactly yes, <laughs> It gets to you My quick. My God. It, hum it humbles class, you really quick. Halfway through the class, I had to take a few steps back, drop the 14 and grab like a 10 because mm. I, I couldn't do it. I was in the gym and I, I needed to get, I was looking for the 20 kg plates. Yeah. And I had like, I had 20 on each side of the bar. So it, was, it was on 60. I was putting another 20 on the, on, it was on a incline. Okay. Incline bench. Bro, I didn't, 100 kilos 100 never kg felt incline so bench. heavy. <laughs> Oh my god, my I almost god. died trying to just prove myself really quickly to some random girl. Never saw her again. The ego lift. Oh, you never saw her again, so oh, it was useless. It was useless. 
I did like two reps as well. <laughs> I was like, you know, I've dropped the barbell on my face before. Really? Just silly, just silly lifting. What was I've the weight? of it as well. It oh my! God. It was like three years ago, three four years ago. But that must have hurt. I've hit a chest man. session. I've gone up to. I was doing like a one rep max test that day, so I got myself up to 112.5 uh, for one rep. You dropped 112.5 no, kilos on no, your face. Well, no, I got that rep. 112.5, nice and easy, went up smoothly. Cool. Then done my back offsets, carried on with my chest workout. But I was feeling so good. You know, you get those days and you're just like, yeah, I'm loving it today. I'm lifting everything, all the lifts. I'm not failing at all. At the end of the chest workout, I don't know what I was thinking. I was on my own as well. Let me try 120. 120 kg barbell bench press. I've lifted it up to try to get one rep. I push it. I'm halfway. And then literally I was stuck on that rep for a solid three seconds. When you've got that much weight, three seconds is a long, a time. long time. And I was like, yeah, this isn't Your going elbows up. start to give out. Yeah, you start wobbling. So I was like, this isn't going anywhere. So I tried to rack it on, you know, you have the lower, the lower rack. So when you have like a barbell bench. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So three levels. I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't be able to get it on the top one. So I tried to get it on the lower one. As I tried to get it on the lower one, it just drops on my face. But I managed to shift my face a bit to the side and it just scratched it like on the way down. So I had like a cut on my face for like a week, but man it was and i filmed oh it as well God. man it was embarrassing. i didn't see that footage bro man, it was see that footage. taught me a lesson that you know you just do not ego lift progression like you know progressive overload all that kind of thing people want to progress way too quickly mm. and you know there's more than one way to progress than just adding weight every time so what other ways can you can you utilize so you can uh decrease rest which is usually the one i don't opt for but you can do stuff like adding more volume okay. so more sets more reps adding more frequency so training that same muscle group more than once per week like you said yeah. so again you're adding more volume to that muscle group within one training week and then increasing time under tension so slowing down the reps so focusing a bit more on the negative doesn't matter how long you're training for it you always seem to learn little bits and bits of like advice to, to tweak your workout and your, yeah, or your, yeah, yeah. your form so like, I th always thought I would do I was doing chest press correctly but then some guy was telling me the other day at the gym and he was big, so I listened to him. Yeah, yeah. And then he was like, you, you know, you really got to focus on driving from your your heels. heels. Yeah, driving like, into ah. the floor. I was like, really? He's like, yeah. He's like, you got to have your legs in the correct position, mm. and then drive from your heels. Do you pin your shoulders back on the bench? Yeah. Uh, oh, this yeah, is yeah. I went the wrong way. Wait, is that King's Cross down there? Yeah, we'll come up to Russell Square, King's Cross area. Oh, good okay, call. Cool. <laughs> My parents lived there. I don't know why I don't know <laughs> this area. <laughs> What's left? Left is like you'll go towards British Museum. Ah, I should have gone there. Like even dating. Dating is tough because especially when it comes to drinking and all that kind of stuff. And you yeah, don't want to yeah, be yeah. that guy that's just like, ah, I can't, sorry, I can't. Or yeah. chicken. I'll tell you what, gin and tonic does help. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Gin and tonic awesome. is su such a good. Like, Diet Coke, yeah, Diet Coke and I never, whiskey Diet Coke. Like there's options yeah, you can take. I never used to, I used to always, cause the thing is, I gained a lot of weight because of beer. Definitely because of beer. And I just started, you know, opting for gin and tonic. And man, I love oh, my nice. gin now. You love it? I love my gin. You drink gin and tonic as well? Yeah, 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 for sure. Favorite gin? Favorite gin, Hendrix. Uh -huh. What about you? Are you Tanqueray, man, or something? <laughs> oh, God, no. are you crazy? I quite like Hendrix. Yeah. Um, a friend of mine actually introduced me to Hendrix. Uh, and I've got, got a, like a, I've got a bottle at home. It's, it's refreshing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I quite like it. Well, but um, I actually quite like gin mare. Okay, the Spanish yeah, 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 yeah. one with I've some tried Mediterranean it once. I've tried tonic. It once. It's nice. That like a couple of those, and then that's my night. Yeah, like that. That's don't need to overdo it. Don't need to go crazy. But yeah, for sure, it's definitely my favorite, hands down. Uh, I, I, I hate that I'm getting used to this car. I don't want to get used to this car. Is it like a temporary thing for you? Well, it was originally going to be a temporary thing, but I've I've started to actually Enjoy get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect for London. It is. You, can you park like vertically, bro, in parking spaces? <laughs> Honestly, oh, like, I, I keep getting a spit because I drive to the station. That's a godsend, oh. you know? Yeah, when I, I drive to the station and then I jump on the train. Yeah, yeah. And at the station, the parking is free, like, on the road. Yeah. But, like, it's always packed. But there's there's always this one little tiny gap that no there. normal car would fit, fit in. But I fit. Oh, shit, uh, no entry. Oh, that one-point turn oh. skill coming up again. Okay, there's no entry. It is, yeah. <laughs> it's just for real. The driving points are going down. Going this is down. not good. <laughs> this is not good. I wanted to get closer to the city. Yeah. My parents. Well, my, the thing is, my parents moved to the, to Central, mm. um, and I went to university here as well, so it just made sense. Yeah. 
and I stayed with them and uh, yeah, man, I had a good time. How are you finding it in Orpington now then? A bit different. It's, it is, oh, it's, is a nice the, area. It though. is a very nice area. It's, it's very different to what I'm accustomed to. But, yeah, yeah, um, especially if you've been living around here. Like yeah. Cross area. But you know what it is? You know what the biggest adjustment is? The biggest adjustment is living on my own. Okay. The thing is, I've lived on my own before, mm. but I've been in the area where I know everyone. But now, like, Friday, Saturday nights, if there's nothing to do, I'm just at home. It's quiet. It's quiet. And but that would change, though, because I'm yeah, sure you'll exactly. obviously get to know people from yeah, that area exactly. and that kind of thing. I have a spare room that I'm thinking of what to do with. I, I'm, I'm actually thinking of putting a gym in there. Really? Yeah. My guy. That would be pretty interesting. My guy. Um, is it a big room? Enough. It's enough. It's yeah. enough. Like you can get a bench in there. You can even get a cable machine in there. Get another. Oh, man. If you get some that, dumbbells that in there. That is goals. That would be that pretty is cool. Goals. <laughs> goals. It was that, and there was also there was different ideas like like walk-in closet, um, games room. Mm. Walk-in closet was a good idea. Yeah, yeah. There's actually some girl that told me about it. Okay, she was like, oh, if you have a spare room, you have to get a walk-in closet. And I was like, that's a really good idea. I yeah. started looking at what I would put in there. Yeah, but if you're not like make two pairs of shoes. Waste. Yeah, I've got nothing. Yeah, see, King of Falafel. I used to live here, bro. I don't know. I know the area. Is that your regular spot? <laughs> Annoyingly, yes. <laughs> For me, the trickiest bit is getting out of the house. In the because obviously yeah. I do morning sessions now mostly like four or five times a week. I'll do morning, maybe one in the. That's evening. crazy. I don't know how you can do because early mornings I struggle with, with doing it. a workout. The, str the hardest bit is getting out of bed. Once you're out of bed and you leave the house, you'll get to the gym you'll have your session. So you gotta fight that mind, the you gotta fight the, the inner thoughts in your head. To hit the snooze just, button. To hit the snooze button. There's some guy who said, actually that, when you hit snooze and you get like an extra hour of sleep, yeah. the sleep is so light. Yeah, yeah, it's not, that it's it not actually, a deep sleep. It, yeah, it's, it actually- It doesn't rest you. Doesn't make you feel any mm. better when you wake up. So you might as well just get, get up, up and start and your day. Yeah. Like, cause you're, you're gonna feel just as tired yeah, as yeah. you do in an hour. So no, no. now, I've got into a routine, half five, I'm, I'm, I'm up. Do you know what's a good trick? I don't know if you do it as well. Like, just charge your phone opposite yeah, side. Yeah, it's on the other side. So you have to get up yeah. and go over there. Uh, so I, I've got Alexa. So I'm okay. not completely alone yeah, at yeah, home. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've got Alexa, so Some there's, there's a morning friends. routine. Yeah, yeah, there's a morning routine. Sometimes I even leave the house. I'm just like, Alexa, I'm going to work. And she just says, goodbye. And I'm like, like, see you later. I'm like, oh, okay, this is nice. <laughs> so as soon as I wake up, I, just, I wake up and I say, good morning, Alexa. And then it just says, it replies with a good morning pray. Um, and then it just tells me the weather. It tells me like traffic. That's and so then it good. plays my morning playlist. That's so good. At the same time, it switches on the living room light. I feel like it's made a big impact in your mornings. Oh, like massive. You, because you feel more productive, more awake, more energetic. Massively, because I, I wake up. The thing is, I've made it a rule to not look at my phone until- You're fully awake. I'm fully of. awake. And that's yeah, usually about that. seven o'clock when I leave to go to work. Yeah. But 5.30, I'm up and I don't check my phone because nothing needs my attention at 5.30 in the morning. It's There's true, nothing true. that requires my attention at 5.30 in the morning, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll wake up and I'll get emails, I'll get work stuff that I've got to sort out, or I'll yeah, get a yeah. message from someone that I didn't want to get. Like, any, it could be anything. No one's expecting me to respond at that time, so I can just be on my own. Yeah. I wake up, I get in the shower, music is playing, you know, make a coffee, and I really just, I really just like kind of have my moment because but you time, once you yeah. leave, once you leave the house, that's it. You've got the next 10, 12 hours in the office and traveling and out and about. And it's just kind of like, yeah, you won't have your time again until you get back I home. I agree, man. Gym yeah. in general, I see it as, you know, time to sort of invest in yourself, forget about everything else, just stay disciplined and focus on, on yourself and on one thing and sort of detach a little bit from everything else that you've got going on. Yeah, and it doesn't have to be the gym. Oh yeah, yeah. It can be... There's so many outlets where you can sort of just take time for yourself. Exactly. You can be yeah. Reading a book, drawing. There's so many different things out there. What are we gonna to listen to? What's the number? What's your number one song? I've got to ask everyone. What's your number one song to listen to? It could be before working out or during working out. What is it? Thanks. You gotta pick one, man. You gotta pick. We're almost at the gym. You gotta pick one now. We gotta play it. In honor, we'll show some Let's respect. Pop smoke in it. <laughs> we'll show some respect. A legend has gone. Honestly, this song's great. I need to swap sometimes. This is a melody. Baby, welcome to the party. I'm off the Myers in the lead. That's why I'm over retarded. My choice would be Pop Smoke for today. Get your ass off the road. But to, get to be honest, when I'm muscle works. 
I've only been to Muscle Works once, and okay. it wasn't that busy to be fair. One hell of a gym. Oh my imagine. god. I can imagine. What a gym. Like, and the people in there, the thing is, it's very easy for people to get intimidated by gyms like that. King's Gym, Muscle yeah, yeah, Works, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, and it's, you know, it's, it's proper, like, you know, it's al alpha. I want to say alpha. Yeah. But honestly, the people are great. The people are lovely. They help you out. And it's, it's not as in. Once you get in and you actually start getting, you know, you start immersing yourself in the in the workhouse and you, yeah. people see that you're working hard, they all respect you and they all, everyone gets along. When I rev, it's, oh. Sound like it's going to break. It's so bad, bro. <laughs> and then, like, when I've, I've, like, I've beat people sometimes and I just, I'm just like, I can never beep anyone again, bro. To lose respect. It's like, it's like, beep, beep. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just like oh, God. All right, cool. Let's get that workout in. Let's go. Um, what are we doing, Paul? Pool session. Pool yeah. session. All right, guys. See you in the gym. Let's go for it. Gun on my. Gun on my. One in the head. One in the head. Send in the clip. Baby. 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 Baby don't trip. Baby don't trip. Just lower your tone. Lower your tone. Cause you can get hit. Don't let the head in my system. Nah. I get your body. Next day I forget it. Next day I forget it. Nigga tried to score the body. Nigga tried to score the body. And listen again. Nigga, I was just with him. Niggas on my killing niggas at the kids. Since a younger nigga, I've been drilling niggas, mom so I stuck under my ways. Ain't nobody ever gave me shit with this big chip, I had to get paid. And it's time gay to go on stage. And you know the streets getting late. Yeah, you welcome to the party. I'm off the mic is in the lead. That's why I'm over retarded. That's why I'm over retarded. Baby, welcome to the party. Uh -huh. I hit the boy up and then I go skate in the Rari. Baby, welcome to the party. Bitch, I'm a thot. Give me lit. Give me lit. Got no mind. Pack up in my jeans. I'm in my hand in these stores. Huh? Don't try and run up on my feet. I knock a nigga out of sleeves while I'm selling down his feet. Huh? Double G for the team. No Alicia, I got keys. Don't get your car switched. He's still a cooler, he's still a he's still a cooler, he don't settle for nothing. Huh? Bluffing. Pussy boy stuff while I bluff it. 380 hold a ruler, I know some niggas that'll shoot you for nothing. Run Ricky, yeah, he run it. Run Ricky, yeah, he run it. I'm off the money, it's in the lead That's why I'm over retarded That's why I'm over retarded Baby, welcome to the party Huh? I hit the boy up and then I go skate in the Rari Baby, welcome to the party Bitch, I'm a thot, get me lit Got no money One in the head Send in the clip Baby, 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 baby Baby, don't trip, baby, don't trip. Just lower your tone Five, four, three, two, one, and rest, and rest, good stuff. We love the energy, we love the energy, well done. <laughs> well done. He's got it, he's got it, he's got it in the tank, he's got it in the tank. <laughs> Round two, let's go. What? No, I'm doing real good.